like my life as a CG seeker though. We're in the Airbus A320 simulator, roll titles. And as you can tell now, we are no longer in the Airbus A320 flight simulator. It wasn't available long enough to film a whole episode, and I wouldn't do that anyway because I wouldn't stop anyone going in anyway. So that was on Thursday. We finished mass and balance nice and early that day, so I managed to sneak in the flight sim. Uh, obviously didn't get to fly it. The engineers were working on it, and it was a strictly no touching buttons uh, session, so it was basically sit there, look pretty, and smile. So that was on first Thursday. Uh, we've actually had quite a few early finishes this week. As you can tell, it's still light outside. I'm in my uniform. It's Friday and we've had another early finish. Uh, this week it's been dominated by principles of flight with a little helping of mass and balance sprinkled in the middle. So, principles of flight. Uh, very first lessons we've had in it. Uh, yeah. It's been a bit of an interesting week. I mean, we've got a pretty interesting instructor. He likes to tell a few stories, but he gets the job done eventually. He's got plenty of time. So, principles of flight, uh, essentially what is, what is it? Well, it's what keeps us in the air. So, we talk about thing, things like um, how do you generate lift? How do you generate, what causes drag? Uh, different types of drag. So, you've got things like induced drag, basically drag caused by lifting surfaces of the aircraft. Parasite drag, that's pretty much everything else, so like skin friction, uh, interference drag, flow, etc, etc. There's lots of different types, I won't bore you with all the details. But anyhow, we had that for every day this week, with exception of one day, which was mass and balance. Now, as you can probably tell from the previous episode, we had actually finished mass and balance completely, but we did have an extra day, which we was going to use as a revision day. Uh, it was quite a short day actually, we spent the first couple of hours just going over some questions that had come up and people had found online and we were just going over them and then just before lunchtime we had a sort of a mock mock exam, so not an actual mock but essentially an exam that could have been the mock but isn't the mock, lots of mocks. Anyhow it was full exam conditions, it was a closed book exam. So first time this has happened for us in Mass and Balance. One hour, 25 questions. Some were one markers, some were two, and there was two free markers in amongst all that. So some easy questions, some difficult ones. Uh, mass and Balance, I would say, is probably the easiest of the four topics in our first module. So I was expecting to do well in it. And uh, I think out of the 60 minutes, I used just over 45. Took my time. Make sure I read the questions as all well. I did find out the very first question didn't read it as good as I should have done because if I'd read it properly, I'd have selected the correct answer. But apart from that question and the very last question, I did got everything right. So I only lost two marks. So overall, really, really pleased with that. So obviously, I've taken in some, well, quite a, quite a lot because I came in with only two lost marks. So really pleased with that. Anyhow, so that is mass and balance completely done now, so that's out of the way, so probably won't be seeing any of that until the uh, mock exams and the real thing. So, quite confident with that, but yeah, we'll definitely be uh, doing some brushing up about the week, week before the main exam. So, that's mass and balance all done. Uh, principles of flight, like I said, it's just all about what keeps us in the air. Different kinds of drag. I mean, one of the things I found quite interesting was all about how how vortices are generated. There's so many different ways of ways of generating one of their uses. For example, on some aircraft you'll have what's known as a wing fence, but that you could you can actually generate a vortice and that will do the same job for no extra cost. So that's quite interesting. But uh, at the moment we've just been doing some very basic stuff with the principles of flight. So for me as a PPO holder already, I've not really encountered anything new, although it has been very nice to go over, as usual, go over things that I've seen before, because it's been oh, almost two years since I sat my PPL Principles of Flight exam, so there was some stuff in there I thought, hmm, yeah, I don't remember doing that, but I probably have seen it. 
I mean, uh, what was, what's another one? Like the ang angle of attacks, it can be spread into two different sections. Uh, yeah, you got normal angle. I can't remember the technical term. I'm a bit tired, but uh, room, yeah, split into two. I think one is called effective airflow, and then you've got your relative angle of attack, and they're two different things. So, and it can be affected by different shaped wings. So anyhow, not not an overly demanding week this week. It's not been too bad. And uh, we've had some fairly short days, but in between all of that, I've been doing some revision for human performance in general navigation. And this weekend, I will certainly be doing a lot of revision for Gen Nav because that is probably my weakest of the four subjects. And it is certainly, from what I've heard by speaking with instructors and other people, it's the one topic of the four that is most likely to be found. So I really want to commit a lot of time to that this weekend. So. As usual, no socialising this weekend, head down in books. So what are we doing next week? Well, I've actually not had my official timetable through for next week, but I can almost guarantee it's going to be, mm, the vast majority is going to be principles of flight. Uh, might have a day or two of Gen Nav thrown in there, which would be quite nice because I'm sure I'm going to encounter a few questions this weekend on the question bank that I'm probably not going to understand. So. I think I've just about summed up this week. I mean, not a huge amount has gone on, but as usual, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, feel free to subscribe and share it with anyone that you feel would be interested or would benefit from this video series. So, not much more really to say, apart from that, I will see you in week six. See ya.